What's up guys, so I'll be briefly going over this new version Keyless Skull Repeater. This is the 2025 FPS4 standard, which you can find on my website, mconnect.com. This is compatible with all modern vehicles with the Keyless Go push to start system, including German models after 2014, which is FPS4, um, and also multi-brand American, Japanese, Korean, and other models. So the way this device works is it's two boxes. It's a big box and a small box. The big box is what's in charge of scanning the key signal and sending that signal from the key back to the car via the small box, which then you enter and start with. This can work in a limited amount of times because this is a live and current bridge from the key to the car. The way you switch on the small box is left and right button, and then you boot into channel modes. This is a new feature, these channel modes, which you have five seconds to select, and then it shows you what mode you're in in the bottom right corner. What this is in charge of is the box-to-box -box connection. So. Previously, if you were testing this device in an area where there is high interference or a country where there's high interference from rogue radio stations or walkie talkies, those signals can interfere with the, with the connection from small box to big box. However, now that there's that channel mode selection, you can change the frequency so there's no longer that interference problem. This is extreme, extraordinarily important and we're the first to do that. So another thing that have been changed is now the big box is no longer charged via this USB connection on the front. It's only connected the via the left side connector to charge the internal batteries. The internal batteries are, like I said, only internal now. Previously, you used to be able to access them from the back. However, now we are placing them inside the device hardwired. So they're no longer removable. That is not important. And we also replaced it from three 18650s to four 18650s. So now you have a longer work time and stronger voltage from the internal and external antennas. So there's an internal antenna here, but if you don't want to work with the internal and you need a longer range to the key, you can use this connector in the back and connect this longer range antenna here, which connects via this connector here, as you can see. Also 3D printed a shell from the splice connection, so there's no longer any wear and tear issues there. But that is how that works. This is what's in charge of scanning the key. That's what's in charge of staying by the car and entering and starting. It's a very simple product. If you'd like more information regarding locksmith tools or other automotive security products, you can contact me via my website, which I'll link in the description in the comment section, and also my Telegram account, which is at Evan Connect, which I also will place in the description of this video as well. Uh, if you need any more questions, uh, feel free to contact me for a one-on-one -on -one consultation.